So if YouTube is not recommending your videos to people while they are watching videos on YouTube, I'm going to show you in this video, I'm going to show you five things you need to do to your video when uploading your video for YouTube to recommend your video to a larger audience. And you know that when your video is recommended and people will get to see your video more, they'll get to watch your video more, your revenue will increase. And if you're not monetized, you're going to get more watch hours and more subscribers by increasing your video views. So let's dive into the video. So I'm going to show you five things you need to do to your YouTube videos when uploading on your YouTube channel. You do these things on your YouTube studio so that YouTube can easily recommend your videos to a larger audience. And those five things are very, very important because when you do them, you get more recommendation, you get more views. You, If you're monetized, you get more money. If you're not monetized yet, you get more watch hours and you still get subscribers when your videos are recommended and people get to see your video more. In this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step, tutorial of five things you need to do to your YouTube studio while uploading your video so that your video will be recommended by YouTube. I'm going to show you how to do your end screen, your card, how to put your video link in your shots, short related to, relating to the video, and how to arrange your playlist so that whenever someone watch one video from your playlist, it keeps recommending other videos on that playlist so that the person watches other video. And also how to create a high-ranking description for your YouTube video so that it will rank high and it will be easily recommended by YouTube. So welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time coming to this channel, please subscribe to the channel to get notified when I post videos on this channel. I'm going to show you how to, what and what to do on your YouTube studio to make your videos recommended by YouTube. We are going to use my system to show you, but you can do this on your phone. You can, but before doing this on your phone, if you have the YouTube studio app on your phone, you log in, you don't use your YouTube studio app because you can't do it on the app. What you do is you, you log into your Chrome, your Chrome browser and type YouTube studio on your Chrome browser. But if your YouTube studio app is still on your phone, when you type YouTube Studio on Chrome browser or any browser, it will bring you back to your YouTube Studio app. So what you will do is you uninstall the YouTube Studio app on your phone. Before going to their website, you uninstall the app. Before going to their website, because on their website you have opportunity to do a lot of things compared to on the app. So head over to our YouTube Studio. So I'll sign into my YouTube Studio. YouTube Studio. So head over to our YouTube Studio. So I'll sign into my YouTube Studio. YouTube Studio. Dot com or just YouTube Studio on Chrome, it will bring you to your YouTube Studio. But make sure your Gmail is already you now sign in using your the Gmail you use to open that particular G, um, that particular sorry that particular YouTube account. So you come over to content. So this is my content. I published all this content. So let me use this one and do the explanation. So you click on this arrow on this content. So it will bring you to all the details of the content. So what we we'll do is we we'll come over here. To set our end screen and our cards, we'll come over here, we'll click on end screen. So when you click on your end screen, it will bring you to this interface. To the, the, the arrow will be on, on a particular point, but you can adjust it to any point you want. You can either put it on this point, this point, this point, or any of the points you want. The arrow works, but it will, it will, it will start by showing you the arrow will be on a particular position when you log in. So when we come here, we'll click on elements. So the first one we'll put to add video. So it will take us to either best view or automatically feature the most recently uploaded from the video. So you either choose either either either, either way best view best for viewers or you choose the recent video. Let me choose the first one which is most recent video. Then I'll come over here, I'll click on the arrow again. I'll click on element. I'll click on playlist, the second option. So I'll click on any of my playlists. I have different playlists. I'll just click on any of my playlists. Then I'll go I'll go back to the next point. I'll click on that arrow again. I'll click on subscribe to bring my channel picture then i'll go over to the last point and to give me something else so it will give me another channel if, if i want to add another channel maybe i want to direct people to another channel to take me to another to i'll go and i will type in the link of the channel so it will import the picture of the channel but since i don't want to put another channel i can leave it this way i can add another video on that point so if i want to add another video i'll go back and click on video so i'll click it to just give me best for viewers so this is how to set my end screen so I've done with my end screen, I'll click on save. So I'll go over to the cards. So for the cards, I'll do I'll, the, the arrow will be here. So I'll push it back. I'll push it to the beginning. If I don't want it, if I want it at the beginning, I'll take it back to the beginning. So I'll click on video. So it will give me options of my video. I'll pick any of the video I want to for it to show. So assuming I want it to show this, I'll click on this one. Then I'll go to the next point. I'll click on it. I'll click on cards. I'll click on playlist. So I'll take any of my games, I'll put it, put it there. Then I'll go to the next point as well. I'll click on it. So I'll click on add, I'll click on channel. 
So I don't want to add another channel to this work, to this my video. So I'll just go to the next tag and click on video again. So I'll choose another video I want. So assuming I want this, I'll put it. Then I can click on and put another video if I want to. But if I don't want to, I can leave it at three. So this is the three, but you can't put the same video twice. Then if there's a custom message and you have a teaser test, something to spice up your, your video, you can add it here. So this is how to set up our card. And that was the first one is how to set up our this is our set up our card. We we'll click on save. So we set we we set our end screen and we also set our card. So let's go to our playlist. For example, this video, I want to put it in the playlist. So I'll come, this is my video. So I'll come over, I'll come down here to where there's playlist. So I'll put the video in a particular in the particular playlist where the video I want to put it. So I'll just click on if I want to put it in on all my playlists, I'll click on I'll click on this box and it will highlight and mark the box. So if I want to remove it from any playlist, I don't want it to be in, I'll click on the box, I'll uncheck it. So it will it will uncheck the box. The video will not be on that particular playlist I unchecked. I'll click on done. So this is how to put your video on the particular playlist based on where the video belongs. Because if you arrange your playlist, you arrange it based on the category of video. If you have a video of playlist of fashion, DIY, cooking, so it's better to arrange the playlist based on their categories, not mixing up all the um, different contents together. So this is how to put my video on playlist. So I want to copy my video link to my shorts. So I'll go back, click on this, I will take, take me back. So when I want to put my, this is my shorts, and if this shot is related to a particular video which I uploaded, so I'll go, I'll go back. So I'll look for the video that the shot is related to. Okay, this is the video. So I'll click on these three dots and close the video. I'll, I'll click on editable, edit title and description. No, I'll click on get shareable title. So I'll go to my shot. So I'll click on my shot. So once I click on my shot, I'll write anything on the description of my shot and paste that title I copied from my video, the video that is related to this shot. So I'll just write watchful video here. Video here. So this is what I'll do. And so if I want to put my shot in playlist, also I'll choose a particular playlist where I want to put my shots. But since I don't want to put the shot in any place, I'll click on done. Then I would I'll click on the age restriction. So it said I need to answer this. If it's meant for kids, if it's not meant for kids, so it is not meant for kids. This is what I'll do. So this is how to put your link, your video link related to the video in your shots. Because if you create a shot that is related to a particular video, you need to put the link of the full video to the shot so that it will be easier for people watching your shot to also watch your full video. Because it's the shot that directly goes to the full video. The full video will have the full detail of whatever you're talking about. So I'll click on save. So this is how to put your your video link on your shorts. So if your video link is on your shorts, the next thing I will do is how to create my description, how to create automatic description for your video. So the description you create for your video differs based on the title of your video and what the video is talking about. Yeah, if you are creating a video on cooking and you're creating a video on fashion the description will not have the same language so the best thing you do if you are if you are going to do your video description you go over to your vid iq and type in your video title the video title you have in mind you type it to vid vid iq and vid iq will give you video description you can edit the description you can tweak it based on what you want based on your language you can remove something and input something and so you now you upload it to your video if you get an automatic description might not work for all your video because some videos um, some videos are different from others so you should not use the same description on all the videos each video should have its own different language and different description and putting your video in the right playlist based on what is in your card makes your video easy to be recommended by youtube whenever someone watches one video from that playlist it automatically recommends other video or videos on that particular playlist and you get more views on your video I hope this helps. I hope this is really helpful to you. Please let me know in the comment section. And if you have this idea before and you have been implementing it on your channel, let me also know in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video up to this time. Please subscribe to this channel, like and click the notification bell. Also share this video. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.